In this quick tip video, I'm going to talk about how you can use mountable virtual hard disk files with BitLocker to create secure portable storage containers that can only be accessed if you enter a BitLocker password or have access to a recovery key. Encrypted virtual hard disk files allow me to store encrypted copies of sensitive documents for backup on any volume that will host them without worrying that someone who accesses that storage device is able to access my confidential files. Let me show you how all of this works. We start on a Windows 11 professional computer, where I'm logged in with a local account with administrator permissions. The first thing I do is create a folder to store my virtual hard disk files, because I don't want to have them in my root folder. The next thing I do is open the old school disk management console. From here, I'm able to create and attach a virtual hard disk. I'm going to use the VHDX format as this is more resilient to corruption than the older VHD format. I specify the location as the folder I just created. I give the virtual hard disk file the name secret dash store. I also configured it at a fixed size of 10 gigabytes. Now I have a 10 gig virtual hard disk file that is treated by the operating system as a storage device. The storage is now visible in the disk management console as disk one. Before I can do anything with this storage, I have to initialize and format the disk. I do that, formatting with NTFS and giving the volume a name. Now when we return to File Explorer, we can see the mounted volume secret dash store. Next, we open the BitLocker drive encryption control panel. We can see that secret dash store is listed as a fixed data drive and that we have the option to turn on BitLocker. When I enable BitLocker, I have the option of configuring a password to unlock the drive or to use a smart card. I provide a password. The next thing we're asked is where we want to back up the recovery key. If I was signed in with a Microsoft account, I could back it up there. That means that if I forgot my password, I could still perform recovery and access the volume using my Microsoft account. In this case, I'm signed in with a local account, so I just save the recovery key to a local file. I then configure the entire drive as encrypted rather than just new space only. This means that the storage container will take a little longer to prepare, but be fully ready and not encrypting on the fly in future. As I will be using this particular virtual storage container in such a way as it will be moved from this device, I choose compatible mode. The volume starts encrypting. I open the volume from File Explorer and create two text files. I then return to disk management and dismount the drive. I navigate back in File Explorer to the folder where I created the virtual hard disk. All the contents of the storage container are inaccessible until it is mounted and I provide the BitLocker password. I can copy or move the virtual hard disk file to another computer. To mount the volume on the local computer, I can just double click on the virtual hard disk file or right click and select mount. When I do this, I get a notice that the drive is protected by BitLocker. To access the contents of the volume, I open the BitLocker control panel app and use it to unlock the drive with my password. When I navigate back to Explorer, I see that the volume is mounted on the computer and that the contents are now accessible. If I'd copied the volume to another computer, I'd have been able to open it using the same technique for unlocking and access. And that's how you can create and use secure portable storage container using virtual hard disks that can only be accessed if you enter a BitLocker password. 